why were people like Fukuyama sad boys about the coming of, of unipolarity? Like what? <laughs> uh, I think like, uh, I mean, they had organized their life around the Soviet Union and, and they had spent years studying it. They, they felt a connection to it. I think um, that movie Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy based on the Le Carre novel mm -hmm. gets at this well when they, they all sing the Union, uh, the Soviet anthem at the Christmas party. Right. There was a there was like a, an affection for the Soviet Union because, you know, it was like kind of a worthy enemy. And so it was this notion of the losing of a grand project. Um, that liberalism, like technocratic liberalism of tinkering around the edges, isn't really an exciting way to live your life. Um, and I think that has a lot to do with it. it. They were unmoored. And you see, you know, various ways to try to get that old magic back in the 90s, you know, humanitarian intervention, responsibility uh -huh. to protect. Then you have terrorism after 9-11. Now you have China. But none of it hits quite like the Soviet Union because it seemed like you were really fighting for, you know, the future of world history. And I, I don't think many people believe that nowadays. Yeah, you had a great line where you said something like the Soviet Union was the Joker to Fukuyama's Batman. And it's yeah. like, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What does Batman do once he's once the guy's locked up? Yeah, um, exactly. <laughs>